Hello, my students. In this video, know the difference between formal and informal language. Let's begin together. First, the formal and informal writing. What is the usage for them? The informal usage, I use informal writing to write about everyday, casual, relaxed, to write for friends, family, social media. So, from the criteria for this, no strict rules. Don't care much about applying grammar rules. What about the formal? I use it for academic setting, setting like writing reports, essays. Sometimes I use it for business setting like writing letters, emails, and reports. What are the informal words to avoid? First person or personal pronouns, we, I, you. Instead, we have to use the third person, a person, an individual, and so on. I also have to avoid contraction. I am, didn't, can't. Instead, I have to say I am, did not, cannot. I also have to abide, avoid slang, plains, text lingo. Example, easier said than done, lol, Rosalind, friend zones, Romeo, and so on. I also have to avoid abbreviations and simples. Examples and as ASAB, which stands for as soon as possible, and cause instead of because. Example number one. I think that it's really bad that students have to do so much homework all the time. This is informal. What about the formal? How can I write it formal? Many people, specifically students, feel that it is unfair that they receive a sur surplus of homework each day. So this is the formal form. Example two, the informal. When you look at bacteria through a microscope, it might seem like nothing, but its effects are really bad if you are exposed to it directly. So, how can I write this sentence or this part in a formal way? I can write it formally. If an individual observes bacteria through a microscope, one might find that it appears harmless. However, individuals exposed to bacteria have a higher likelihood of contracting the harmful effects such as an illness. The word usage. In the formal, I have a formal tone uses more complex, precious adjectives, nouns, and verbs. For example, instead of saying good, I'll say superior. Instead of saying use, I'll say at lies. Instead of, of saying some things, I said some reasons. Hesitation fillers. Well, let me think. Hmm, like, er, all of these are informal. Like, for example, well, this experience is one I will never forget. So this is informal way. How can I write it formally? Therefore, this is an experience I will never forget. Let's see another example. This part is informal. When you are thinking about how to solve a geometry problem, that's your cerebrum in action. It doesn't help you remember things. It also contains your memory, both long-term and short-term. Can I write this example formally? For instance, when a person attempts to solve a challenging question, the cerebrum is processing and retrieving the information necessary to solve the question. The cerebrum doesn't only store prior knowledge or information, it also contains a person's memory, both long and short term. 